Coming up in this video, how to add a softbox shadow to your DV slider module. This quick tip is part of our mini series, Interesting Ways on How to Style Your DV Slider Module. At the end of this tutorial, we'll end up with a full screen header and a stylized box slider and a new effect for the slides. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you how we managed to achieve this design. So the first thing you need to do is to log into your WordPress admin. And right now I'm in the dashboard. So the first thing you need to do here is to add a new page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add new. And we're going to call this page softbox. I'm going to click on use the Divi builder and also use visual builder. So now that we are in the front end editor, the first thing we need to do here is to add a background image onto the section settings. So we're going to click this gear icon and we're going to add a background image. Now I've gone ahead and uh, uploaded my image way ahead of time, but uh, you can also upload your images by clicking this upload files link. Okay. So here's my image. I'm going to click once on it and then I'm going to click on upload an image. So this straight away is now applied to the background of this section. So the next thing you need to do here is to add some padding to the top and bottom. So the padding top needs to be 100 pixels and then the padding bottom needs to be 150. Next we need to go to the CSS button. Now here we need to add the CSS ID and our CSS ID is going to be called box slider and it needs to be written with a hyphen so you type in box hyphen slider like that. And then finally on the CSS, we need to add some CSS code to make this image cover the full screen. So the CSS we're going to use throughout this whole tutorial is going to be found on the post which we have on our Elegant Themes blog. And I'll also link to the post in the show notes below. Okay, so I'm going to paste the code we need here and then instantly we can see that now the image is covering our full screen. So now we're done with the uh, section settings, we're going to go ahead and click on save changes. So next what we need to do is to add a single row. So I'm going to click on this plus sign to add the row and the row we need here is the single row. So I'm going to click once on that and now it's time to insert the module. And the module we're going to use for this is a slider module. So I'm going to click on slider and now we are ready to start making our changes to the slider settings. So the first thing we need to do here is to hide the arrows show controls yes that's fine automatic animation let's set that to on and then we need to change that from 7000 to 8000 so that's just eight seconds okay continue automatic slide on hover that's good we're going to set that to yes and then we're going to remove this inner shadow now we need to go into the advanced design settings now on the advanced settings we need to change the header font to arvo and we're going to make it bold. Next, we're going to add a color to this header text. And the color we need to use, again, can be found on the blog post. So I'm just going to paste the color right in there, like that. Next, what we need to do now is to adjust the, um, the styles for the button. So I'm just going to click on yes to activate the styles. So now you can see we can do a lot of changes here. So the first thing we're going to do here for the button is to change the text to 16 because 20 is a bit too big for this. The border width, we're going to change that to 5. The border radius, we're going to change that to 0. And then we're also going to change the font. So the font we're going to use here is, let me see if I can find it, is right here. Okay, so with the, the button font, we need to make it bold and italics. Now we need to add the icon. The icon we're going to need here is this one right here. And add button icon. We're going to change this from default to yes. So icon placement right. Okay, that's looking good. And only show on hover. That's looking good too. Okay, so back here to the text color, we need to add this code for the text color and also for the border color, like that. And then finally, we need to go into the CSS. So the first CSS code we're gonna add needs to go in the main element. 
So I'm just gonna paste it and you can see straight away, we can see the visual updates on the side right here, which is pretty cool. Okay, so the next CSS is going to go on the slide description. Okay, so we need to go into the slide title and also add the CSS code. And then we also need the code for the slide button. And then finally, we need to add the code to the slide controllers. So I'm gonna paste that. And as I mentioned before, all this CSS code can be found on the blog post, which again, I've linked in the show notes below. Okay, so that's looking pretty cool. So next, what we need to do now is to go back to general. And then now we're gonna, we're gonna add the slide settings. So to do that, all we need to do is to click on add new item. And now this gives us access to what's gonna go in this area. So what I've done here is I've just added the, um, the heading, the button text, the button URL, we're just gonna use a blank link. And then for the background color, we need to make this transparent. So I'm just gonna choose a very light color here, this light gray, and then lower the opacity like that. So we can just show a bit of the background. Okay, and you can adjust this to make sure that it fits um, your liking. Okay, so next what we need to do is to scroll all the way down here. So you see where it says text color. At the moment, the color is not um, visible because it's too close to the background. So we're gonna change this from light to dark. Okay, so this makes, makes it easier to read. Next, what we need to do is to add the CSS code. So in the, the first place to add the CSS code is the main element. So I'm just gonna paste that. And you can see we've instantly had an update to our design. So the next code needs to go on the slide description. So I'm just gonna add that code on the slide description. On the slide title, we need to make sure that this text is aligned left. So I'm just gonna add that code for the text aligned left. We are also going to add some code to the slide button. Now, before I forget, we need to go back to the design and also add some colors to the arrows custom color and also the dot nav. So I'm gonna click on the color and I'm just gonna paste the color here and also do the same on the dot nav, like that. So once we're happy with that, I'm gonna go ahead and save changes. So as you can see, uh, it's looking really cool. We have this uh, transparency happening here. So um, yeah, the slide looks pretty slick. Now, what we need to do is we need to add this, uh, some CSS code to the actual page. So to do that, I'm just gonna click on save changes. And then I'm gonna come all the way down to the bottom here. And then I'm gonna expand the settings and then click this gear icon. That gear icon gives you access to the page settings and then I'm just gonna to go to CSS and then just paste the CSS in here. And then once we're done with that, we're gonna click on save changes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save the page. So there you have it. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing daily video tips similar to what you've seen uh, in this video. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.